Hi, I'm Ixisis, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. No step back where we're playing as the Soviet Union. On the last episode we started to make a small offensive here. We managed to capture uh, the rest of our secure Mykolaiv Myk 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 and uh, Cherkasy regions, mostly. And we started pushing into Odessa and uh, Balta Tiraspol. Uh, we lost a lot of ground, uh, some ground here that we had managed to capture once the supplies ran out. So uh, we're gonna see if we can't uh, help this out. We might need to wait for the uh, supply hub here to be upgraded before we're actually able to make an offensive here. And I'm thinking maybe we should uh, plan on taking Vin Vitnisha as well. Uh, up north we are holding on fine, so we don't need to worry too much about it. And the offensive in Finland has staled out. So we're... There's not a lot of movement going on on the front up here either. Could probably push here too, actually. If we really wanted to. I've actually left a few tiles uh, unexposed there. Oh yeah, our uh, supply hub here is complete, so we could most definitely push. That's, uh, might actually be worth pushing them at least out of our regions here. Let's uh, make a small limited... Uh, I probably want to have at least one of these on standing back. And let's do the same thing here. Let's uh, halt one division. And they can just move forward. And then we want to be going to head into here as well. And the same thing. We want to have them all in. And then just hold one. That should be fine. Yeah, uh, then we should be able to punch them out from there. No problem whatsoever. And uh, yeah, maybe we need to move... Uh, move some of these uh, these troops we've had on defensive lines we'll move them shift them back a bit more see if we can get them to a different supply zone and do we have another hub we've got a few hubs up here to putting them in this area, general area here should be helpful and uh, these are being supplied from this hub here and this hub here, so that's no problem. But we do need to free up some supply on this hub and preferably on this hub too. What do we have for... I've got a <coughs> level 5 railway coming in there. But of course we don't have this one. That should is probably the Moscow one. Down the bottom there. It's not too easy to see, but if we no. It should we could be this one too. Yeah, that's the one. And let's let's put all the Moscow ones up to the top. And that should help with uh, actually bringing the supplies down. We need at least to this hub. I'll bring it up to 35. 20. Do we want to increase the throughput? Probably. Let's add another level there too. That one can go at the bottom though. Or uh, above the military factories, preferably. And we're upgrading to level 5 all the way up to Daugava Pills. So. Don't need to bother too much about that. And we're upgrading, of course, to level 5 all the way up to Chekasi. And we'll keep going down towards Romania on this railroad. I think we want to spread Ledyshenko's tanks out a little bit. If we can grab the correct one. And I do think we want to keep the assault troops 
down here. Maybe, however, we want to move some of these troops that we moved on here off again. Yeah, I think we need to pull them back as well. Just to try and ease the uh, tensions on the lines down here. Uh, maybe we can actually pull... The main armies, or main armies of the southern front up there. These uh, assault divisions should have no trouble whatsoever in actually keeping this part of the front line safe. We should be seeing a relocation of these tanks. Now let's see what happens. It's a tough spot to supply this here. Behind the river and into a different supply region as well. That we don't own most of. It's tough to hold on don't have the attack to keep them off us. I might actually be losing that tile unless the tanks can get there fast enough. And these are moving in as well. And let's grab... Uh, we can probably use uh, Isa here too. Well, Put some divisions up here to try and grab the northern section. We will remove Lilyshenko's line there and we will put Lilyshenko down here. And the same thing, we'll try to just push northwards up there, should be fine. And we'll try to round our the forts we built here before. This should only be level 1 fort still, yeah. So they're not that big of a hassle to deal with. It does look like we are getting more reinforcements in here. No, I did not manage to keep that there. And uh, where do we have... oh yeah, you're retreating. You three are entrenched. Where are you entrenched? Oh, you're defending. I will see if we actually manage to hold on to these tiles at all now that we moved away the... We do need to have these troops down here then. Doesn't look like we can hold on without them. And if we can't hold on, we can't get the... Oh, there's even more tanks. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's put them into... Two into Rokosovsky and two into Pelayev there. They're gonna make the uh, push up here. Yeah, there's nowhere near enough to hold on here. Maybe we could. If we move all of the assault divisions up here, we shouldn't have to move the... that line down. And we should be better poised for a good strong attack down here. Looks like they've collected up quite a lot of their strong uh, divisions down here. They've got their tanks moved down on their armored formations. Hopefully they start worrying a little bit when they see our... We are collecting... Uh, let's wait for all the tanks to actually arrive there. And... Uh, Let's remove this line and see where I'm going to have these there. And you're supposed to be there. And uh, this one too. So we have all the, the all of them where we want them. And it looks like our offensives up here have gone well. 
We want to push them up from here too. That would probably be better off actually taking them off there. <clears throat> let's uh, let's move it up this way. Let's keep pushing a bit. Yeah, that was not what I intended to do, but let's uh, let's roll with it. Okay, it looks like we've got our tanks in position now. Uh, almost. Let's uh, put strategically a strategic redeployment onto these tanks. Or most of these were in position. Okay, let's uh, redeploy them. And they've pushed us back across the river. Why are we still in bad supply here? We shouldn't be in that bad supply. Maybe we can uh, move this front line up one bit and uh, have them spread out a little bit better. We're probably in a bad supply there because we're overstacking. At least for this tiny, tiny one here. Okay. So we go through there. Probably shouldn't have been all the way up on that tile. We're not going to take that. Actually, let's go for the bunker there first. Then the armored formations should be able to make a breakthrough here. Of course, we only got the uh, motorized divisions attacking. Let's uh, pause them out and see if the tanks can get reinforcing. No, they've got so many stacked up there. Let's uh, move them up. Let them regain some organ. We'll keep on moving. We want to move on down this direction. And this army wants to move in this direction. Okay, they are better spread out here now at least. And they are heavily, heavily stacked. Let's uh, get the entire tank army of Lyshenko and move across here. With the support of the assault infantry of course. So we've got some weight behind us. We can maybe help out with some infantry here too. Okay, and we are under attack there. Now we can see that they've actually moved up one pile too much there, which we don't want. And this one goes there, and this one goes up like so. Actually, the, the, uh, <coughs> uh, Rokosovsky's tanks could of course be in both of these. Let's see if we can get them to join in there. Let's get some infantry in. We'll probably support with some assault infantry from there too. Oh, they got 17 divisions in that tile. Okay, so we finished merging the tank and material plants. And uh, we are gonna take a detour now back down here. We're gonna do women in aviation. There's some uh, okay panel, some okay bonuses there. And we wanna get down to this one for the night operations penalty reduction and the air wing experience when loss and we are well, I don't think this one is accurate we should be losing more than that yeah and they actually lost more than us that tick and we, we are managing yellow air every now and then okay so we managed to break through here and we probably oh this is not good we need to expand down this line and make it like so I think are we crossing yes we will be crossing here soon 
And then maybe we can make a push low down with the tanks towards Odessa. Yeah, that should be fine. We will move uh, Pileab's troops up this direction. And into there. And Rokosovsky can keep pushing and see if we can't get into Vintusha. That would be a very good one to take down. Even if we don't have the railway line secured to it, it would rob them off a lot of supplies in the area. And we should be able to roll them back. We can probably encircle the forts here. It should be possible. Uh, mud here of course isn't helping. Alright, so we've got our artillery fixed. Let's uh, pile in some more support. And uh, we'll keep on going down towards the artillery upgrade. I think we've got a good supply of... I've got a good stockpile of artillery. And with flexible lines now it's no issue just swapping them out. We lose so little of the production efficiency. Or rather we keep a lot of our production efficiency. I want to move... Just keep committing some of these. Let's uh, try to cross there too. This is mostly pinning maneuver to make sure that they can't reinforce here as easily. I want to move as much of the other troops in this area down. Let's keep pushing there. And the same thing here. And we're running into the same problem here. There's just no supply for making a push. We are... We're actually at capacity here now. So this one's at least sorted out. And this one of course has not. I think we should be able to take... Continuous Offensive. It'll help a little bit with... Uh, Orgloss and Reinforce Rate. And that uh, finishes off our land doctrine. We could go down. Let's grab the submarine. Oh, let's grab the convoy sailing ones. And let's uh, grab the torpedo strikes as well. Okay, so we have made it across. It's keep pushing. It looks like we have gotten some extra troops up this direction. Let's move the Lyshenko's tanks down this direction. I probably need to move half of them down that way. And these are just fizzling out because we don't have any breakthrough left to get through here. Yeah, let's uh, call off these attacks for now. Maybe they will redistribute their troops a little bit. Let's see, let's uh, help out this direction. Now we instantly run out of supply as soon as we're across the river there. Because we don't have a full control of the state, of course. Let's see if we can't help across this direction. And if we take this one, we've got. Well, it would be almost half the state. Would be really good if we can manage that. And now they've actually moved some of their troops away from here, we want to keep going before they redeploy or before they uh, entrench into the new positions there maybe we can get some tanks up this direction uh, 
Okay, it is uh, decrypted our ciphers. Do we have any? No, we've already fully upgraded down here. And they are pushing us back out from here. So we did manage to beat them out from there, but they are beating us out from here. Uh, let's see if we can't reinforce. I had some fierce fighting there. Okay, so we've got... We can help going down this direction. There's a lot of weird different colored bubbles here. moved a lot of troops out from this let's uh, make an infantry push onto that fort I really want to uh, keep pushing here okay so we're across the river in more than one location here at least Let's see if we can't push into the, that forest there. We'll push with everything we've got there. And this uh, should be fine attacking up this direction. We really don't want to have the tanks all the way up there. We want to keep this separate. And uh, they're fine there. Uh, Rokosovsk is not doing very well here. It's getting pinned down from this side. It's just one division pinning him down too. Okay, so let's move there. We've got some... And Pilaev here should be... That's... Okay, that's that one. So hard to find the correct handle sometimes. There we go. And we want to move with these into that tile, preferably supported by some infantry. We did manage to grab the uh, port here too, so the rail line is secured once we take Venusia. You just move straight up there, I think. Should be fine. Looks like we pushed them out from there. Let's see if we can grab Odessa quickly. Are we moving in with any infantry as well? Maybe not. Well, let's keep pushing there. Now let's use, use what we've got here. Let's go straight on there. Not expecting them to actually take this tile though. We need to defend the counter-attack before we can keep on rolling here. Our tanks aren't the best thing to take a city with, but that's what we've got up here. And how are yeah, our close air support can reach all the way over here, so we don't need to relocate them. As we could probably put them on logistics strikes as well, just to help their experience gain. Now we're starting to get some some trained air wings now. We've got two of them at least. They are of course suffering heavy heavy losses while while we're at here. Okay, so we've actually managed to take Ventusha. That's really nice. Now we just need to consolidate it and uh, keep control of it. Uh, tanks won't do any good further down south. We will Actually, just try to consolidate them into Ventusia. That should be fine for now. And uh, start putting up an order for cleaning up down south. It's going to be a little while before we actually get some supply coming in here. That's just one more day. 
but I think it might be another few days before we manage to get in there. It would be nice to get this encirclement going there. Okay, so here we hold it down here. I think we want to keep go pushing there. And let's uh, push with the infantry and use the tanks for support. The tanks aren't really what we want to have a lack of fuel. That's because we don't have any supply coming in here, of course. They should all be set to highly motorized. Uh, looks like we can do the same thing here on Zukov. Maybe that will help with the reach a little bit. Uh, this one should be... Oh, it was already at max. Okay. And we are... Yeah, we've got plenty of trucks and trains. Okay, can we help in the forest? I think taking this time was going to help us with consolidating the supply. Let's uh, keep on going through there. And I think we can move Pilaev's down this direction. And let's get uh, Chernovsky. We deployed from up here. Yeah, they're standing still there. Thinking if we can... Uh, we should have the supply here to start working towards Sotomir. 25, no, not really. Maybe they're supplied from here. I wish the supply hub would get highlighted when you highlight over province so you can see where it gets supplied from. Let's uh, let's bump this. Oh, if we go... No, no, you know, even if we shift click we can get it up the top. We will go up to level 5 here, so we can supply this hub properly. We will supply this hub from here, I think. I will upgrade that one too. Doesn't really matter exactly where they are down there. That way they're at least getting supplied from different directions here. Yeah, key of this maxed out. We really need to get the supply moved over to different different fonts. I need this we really need this Odessa supply hub. Let's push in there with the tanks as well. Let's have them assist. Okay, great. That's one more tile if we can just manage to reinforce it enough to keep it. Let's uh, make a temporary assault there so we can get some troops in defending there. I'm not sure we want to have our tanks positioned there though. Let's get Ledyshenko's tanks up. I'll try to take out this forest or Tiraspol before going for Odessa. And where are they getting supplied from here now? They've got their supply going here and in Seata Alba of course. And then up in Lvov, that's a long way. Zotomir is the big one. Oh, where are we? That should be... No. No, it's uh, this one. And let's uh, move this one back. 
And then we got some offensive plans drawn up. Maybe we can get into a little bit better position from... If we hit there we should be okay. Okay, Shanahovsky. That's gonna be a tough stretch. Maybe we wanna just try and widen this up a little bit first. That'll take out an air base too. And this one would be nice to grab. Okay, looks like we're gonna lose this tile again. They can attack it from three directions, of course. Maybe if we make a counter-attack there, we can help stave off. There's quite a lot of uh, uh, divisions attacking from that. I actually managed to beat them out from there, too. And we make a counter-offensive into Bolta. We want to keep our tanks rolling. Let's move a couple of extras in there. And down this direction. Okay, great. Let's uh, help out there and see if we can take Bolta. And uh, let's start pushing on Odessa. And once uh, their attack peters out, we can redistribute these. Oh, we want to help out with as many as we can there. Okay, great. I want to keep our armored formations moving in this direction. They're a lot better on the offensive and on plane styles than they are in forests. There's not a lot of Oregon in that division. But we will help out with this one to open up the frontage. Yeah. I've got a lot of defense here because they're well entrenched. We do have quite a lot of attack. Let's wait until it's not night, maybe. Yeah. And these are really good assault divisions. Uh, as long as you got them in supply, of course. Okay, if we move our... I think we want to consolidate out towards the west and we will keep on punching and see if we can punch out this direction we will support from here we probably need to support a bit with the infantry as well here to make this attack work just want to widen out the front a little bit here so we've got an easier time pushing in towards Zotomir Okay, we're pushed into Tiraspol. Let's see if we can hold on to it as well. And we really want to send some more divisions into Odessa from here. If we can take Odessa, we can easily consolidate this area now. We really need the, the supply from Odessa. Okay, so we finished the RPG-43. That's really nice. I am a little bit tempted in going this Oh, We can actually do night vision. Yeah, night vision is going to be helpful. Since you end up being in combat half... Well, for the entire night in all the combats anyway. It's a decent boost. Okay, it looks like we've got a really tough time breaking through here. Yeah, they can pierce all of our armor divisions here. They go, we only got the light divisions on Shanakyakovsky. Shana and they don't have a lot of uh, armor. They work the other way. They've got a high, a high attack and fast speed. And they're more for exploit the exploitation. Not for breaking through, they probably work decently here where they don't have any entrenchment. 
And that was the army that we did have three not involved in offensive operations. Let's uh, see if we can help out in this direction too. Open up the front even more. And then we might be able to move our, our assault infantry up towards a different direction. Okay, that's really good. Now we want to move the the armored formations up this direction. Now we can keep it there. We just want to consolidate on our side of the river first. Now pushing down into Romania is probably going to be easier from the northern part here, rather than crossing this river. Okay, uh, some more aces. That's always nice. Let's keep on pushing here. We're not getting through there. Maybe we can push here and that might cause some kind of trigger or reaction from the other troops in the area. That seems to have helped a little bit. Okay, so we finished with excavation. We should be... we've got 24k daily gain, maximum gain of 40, or maximum gain of maximum consumption of 22. So we are producing more fuel than we can use at the moment. We don't need to do anything more there. Now we could go for that uh, upgraded CAS, but uh, that would be a little bit out of role. Okay, so... Well, Indian technology is a little bit ahead of time. Let's uh, grab some armor technology then. See if we can't uh, beef up our tanks a little bit more. Okay, I think we need some more weight behind this attack. Now they are moving at least, and when they're moving they're losing entrenchment. And that's what we want to see. And I think, catch that I think. Let's push first in there. And I'll use uh, half, half of the army to push into that tile and half into this tile to both block them and see if we can't keep them there. Put an SS division there. Okay, we probably should be spreading these out before. We can spread them across the entire front here. And let's move. Uh, up to... I will spread, the, spread them out along the line here. Or along the front. We should be able to collapse this in. Well, that's good. We've uh, made it all the way up to the river here. Let's see if we... Just want to wait for some of these to redeploy and then we will go smashing in here and straight up there. Doesn't matter exactly where they are poised, but I wanted one tank or one armor division up in this direction too. And let's support these attacks a bit. And uh, we should probably be moving up one of these. This army is probably the best one to be moving up. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just go there for now. And we'll uh, try to move up this so we don't have to have our assault divisions on the defensive here. Okay, let's uh, keep going with the armored formations. Uh, looks like we have a possibility to push in here, so let's take it. And how is... They're all up here. Probably want to take... No, we got one division there. We want to wait for this to stop, though. Right, let's see if we can't pile in with some more 
divisions there and see if it helps. Okay, we managed to push out these 16 divisions from there, and this means that these six should be encircled. Oh yeah. We managed to make uh, one encirclement here. We want to close this off with one of our tank armies. Um, that's probably going to be for Lelyshenko. To see if we can't get his uh, skill up a bit. They gain, uh, they gain quite a lot of experience for closing pockets okay so now we really need to fix up the front lines here let's uh, move Rokosovsky back up and everyone there let's uh, close these down this way yeah And you guys will have to guard the new front line we have here. And we'll start off doing it this way. And then we can integrate them into the field marshal order. And I think once uh, Ilyushenko's closed down this pocket. We want to, and all of these of course belong here. Once Ledyshenko's closed down this pocket, we want to move him up and assist up on the northern front here, I think. Since uh, Shenayakovsky Shana doesn't seem to be doing very well up here. It's taking a lot of time to push through here. Yeah, keep going. Best case scenario we take the tile, worst case scenario we grind some experience. Okay, so we are starting to get proper divisions into position here now. Let's hold there for now. Right, so we've finished women in aviation, makes our air force a little bit stronger. We will uh, keep going down to the Raskova's aviation group. And this one actually gives us three fighter regiments or three air regiments too. And that's pretty cool. And three aces. And it looks like we have filled out... Oh yeah, we totally forgot about this. We can uh, in increase our... Or do something with our tanks here. Our production efficiency cap is really good. So we will uh, grab that one. I don't think that is our main concern really, but that one is good for everything we build. And for the armor designer here. I mean, maximum speed is nice. But I think actually the production cost would be really nice too. Yeah, let's add the production cost modifier there. But I do think we need to... don't think it actually applies here before we make an upgrade to them. So we're at 3729. No, it did, didn't make a difference there. Oh wait, maybe this one... this one's probably applied on the equipment right here. So they are all the equipment is actually made cheaper. No, oh, uh, tank designers way over here. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, it needs a half a year before it actually applies, and that's our problem. Okay, so how are we doing for these? No, we can't dispatch them anymore because we don't have enough fighters yet. And we don't have enough tactical bombers. Okay, well that's uh, that's the way it is. I am surprised that they are still uh, managing to put 12,000 fighters into the air here when we control the entire region. They must be flying a lot from these air bases around here. But we do have uh, 
we filled up our divisions now and we're starting to get the experience there. So I think we should be... It looks like we are... And we've got higher air attack and higher agility now. They do have higher speed. Okay, so how are we doing for... Oh, it looks like we're actually... We are on even terms now. Yeah, we can't see that many years back. But if we look back here, uh, one year, you can see that we've uh, crossed over here now. And we are doing a lot better than they are. So this, uh, this grinder here now is going in our favor. Which of course is really good. We will spend this experience too to increase the potency of our fighters as well. Okay, so let's close out this pocket. Let's see what was he at. I couldn't really see, I think it was at 20 something before. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're gonna send Lendyshenko up here. We'll set Lelyshenko there and we can keep Shanaikovsky uh, Yakovsky up on the northern edge there. And they might be able to help out both of them. Let's see if we can push a bit there. Let's grab some infantry as well. Okay, we want to go there. Yeah, that's what happens when they end up on the wrong tiles. Okay, so what would be the next objectives? We kind of want to reach into Romania, I think. I think shutting down the oil fields here would be a very good thing to start off with. That should uh, help the help us bring down the German Air Force even faster. The allies are still nowhere to be seen. Italians have are into Algeria and into Why are they into Algeria? They shouldn't be this is Vichy France. Oh well. And they've reached Al Almain. So the axes are seemingly quite competent this game. Okay, so if we push a bit here they should be well, if we take these, take half of them, the other half can go in here. That might be helpful to move up just a little bit. Okay, we finished the advanced artillery, so we are all up to date on artillery. I didn't need any fuel. I guess radar could be something we could go for. I feel that after the uh, after doctrines were moved away from research, research is a little bit too fast. Let's we'll see how it ends up in the new DLC. And they're removing even more tech, so. I think the, the end game research might be even harder. Okay, so we finished fleshing out our divisions. What are we doing for equipment? We could probably start converting some into... How much do we need to convert one army into the newer template? That's not a lot. This is definitely doable. Let's, uh, let's convert a bunch of these. Well, I think we start off that way. Got a lot of commanders here too. Let's get some... See if we have some more infantry experts. Improvisation expert? Yeah. It's uh, not going to be anything better down there. And how are you doing? There it can be selected as a high command, level 4. Level 5 is when you can start selecting preferred tactics. And we want 
backhand blow I think we were talking about. Oh no. Oh he's level 4, max. That's why we can't select anything. And I don't think we've got anyone down here we can make any changes to just yet. Let's see if we can't spend some command power down here. No, oh, backhand blow. Uh, maybe we have the... I don't think we did field marshals before, did we? No. So I think we start off with checking out the field marshals. Level 5 you should be able to get backhand blow as well. Preferred tactic for Shelevyshenko. Sher oh yes. Backhand blow. And oh, we're on. Yeah, we can we can start filling these out as well. We don't have a lot of other use for it. Preferred tactic. We would really need three of these icons. One for the high command thingy, one for tactics and one for traits. Having both traits and preferred tactic on the same phone, same one you need to hover abo above them to see which one you want to select. Oh yeah, we've got something that makes it free to select these as well. Do we have anyone on the Finnish front here? Trait. Well, I mean, I guess Popov, you could be a winter expert, I... but they should all be pretty acclimatized. Yeah, no one down there. Yeah, okay, let's leave it at that. Let's uh, concentrate a little bit on our pocket down here then. But we definitely want to take out Zotomir. And it looks like it's very lightly defended now. And looks like we managed to convert so we've got some tougher ones sitting around here. Yeah, let's uh, push forward a bit when we can. still stacked pretty heavily. I think it's just down here that they they're in a disarray at the moment. They don't really know what happened. Okay, so we captured Azotomir, which is great. It's a supply hub. We will of course keep going. Because we really wanna make this encirclement happen. And the southern front here now, we should be able to first of all remove from there and remove from there. Let's grab this front line all the way down. And uh, at least this army can help defend there. And what do we have per tile up here? Three, four. Let's just probably move some of these away. Let's, uh, let's pull these back for now. We'll see where we want to use Gorbachev in a bit. Alright, here comes Lelushenko in too with the heavy pieces. I should probably have strategically redeployed them of course. Would have gotten them up here a lot quicker. But here we go. Vilayev is doing fine work. Let's uh, expand outwards westward right, let's just grab them all and go in there start pushing make sure that they can't really escape here right, there's a lot of infantry divisions to defending there and this will help pin them into place Oh, they... Oh, okay. Here we go. 
the allies are invading in Calais and actually in uh, uh, close to Ghent. They're invading across the channel. Uh, a little bit early for a D-Day. I guess they saw a good opportunity. That could be why the Germans are pulling troops from our front lines. Oh, we'll see, you will go back to that and see in a little bit if they manage to make a foothold. The landings that they did in Italy were quickly beaten back. Okay, so we should be pushing through here now at least. But while we are at this, we will of course take the opportunity to walk forward a few tiles. Okay, yeah, we need more defenders in here. That's not enough with the uh, four per tile or thereabouts. Okay, so we've managed to create another pocket here. Who do we want to close it? Ledyshenko again, maybe? Probably. We want to try to get these uh, generals up to level five. Pilayev could be one too, actually. No, let's get Ledyshenko. Um, okay, we need to sort some of these front lines out a bit first. So Pilayev is in a good position to keep pushing westwards. We should be going for a, a supply hub up here in the road. Along the railway line, of course. Looks like they've been building more railways. But we'll see. And then, of course, we've got... Where are these divisions? Oh, we want to move... Yeah, back to Zotomir, maybe. I think four divisions there, yeah, that's fine for now. At least 29, however, need to be on this front line. But we maybe do need to keep a few of them here for now. Yeah, so we are... I think that will be fine. When we go do it like this, I think that's all of them now. There's only six of them. Grab them all, let's start folding up here. Yeah, he still hasn't taken this tile. Uh, to be fair, he's got the, the worst divisions for this and was fighting an under low supply. Let's see if we've got any... How many more can we build? There we run out of medium tanks and heavy tanks. Okay, so we are pretty much on our... Can we build any light divisions? We can build loads of them, it looks like. Ah, that's fine. Let's uh, train four of them. Anywhere. And we'll use, use what we have. Okay, so we managed to push them in here. Now we want to probably go for this tile as soon as possible. Yeah, okay, this is this is looking good. And they're trying to push up here. And they did manage to push across here. And we should be able to pick them back across the river pretty easily. Uh, maybe we wanna... Let's grab, uh, grab a few of these and put them in here. Just for safeguarding. Okay. So let's take the fort out first and then we will go and clean it up. And then all of these uh, infantry divisions should be thrown back into their proper locations. Let's grab infantry equipment. Okay, 
Alright, and now we just go straight for closing out this pocket. And these poor tanks haven't even gotten into combat yet, they've just been following around. And yet again, yeah, they managed to make it in this time at least. And there we go. Well, uh, some retreating divisions. That's two pockets close to this episode. Let's see if we can see this last battle here. Uh, okay, 121. That's quite a lot of uh, captured and killed Germans. And I'm guessing these are also part of the, so the final cleanup afterwards. It's about 150,000 in that pocket. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, not doing quite as good as I was thinking they would be. 73% is okay. And the motorized divisions, we don't have any motorized divisions left anymore. Oh yeah, we do. That's the, that's our, that's because this one isn't the same as the one we've got, is it? Probably is actually. Yeah. And the counter. Um, but these are doing really well. 80% win ratio. And they've been fighting in the low supply here, of course, too. So, but um, that's going to be all for today. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and see you next time.